Hello everyone and welcome to this video. I'm going to showcase these three houses. Uh, it's all modern in a 10x10 10 10 plot, but yeah, if you exclude the the barriers, actually it's even 8x8, eight eight, so quite a tiny plot. The first one is quite a cool one in my opinion. It's a smaller one, actually, if you talk about the space inside. The second one has a, has a bigger garden and the right one is really tall but also offers a lot of space. So let's get into this. Okay, so to start things off, here we are at the smaller house and this features bushes or actually leaves with dark oak slabs on top of them. Here we go with an entrance. And as you can see, we have a small garden. It's not really big, I have to say. We have green or actually lime carpets over here to hide the water or not to hide in particular, but just to make it walkable so that you can actually easily harvest those and don't have to jump out of the water over and over again. So this is this kind of small garden. Then we have this first story with a bigger window over here. And uh, yes, yeah, sky blue wall over there. And this is a really cool feature in my opinion. Cauldron with a campfire below. Actually, if you break that one, you can see the campfire. And if you don't, you don't see that campfire, no matter how you place it. So there we go. This is a little cauldron. It's like a smoker as well, <laughs> in, some, in, some, in some form. So here we have a furnace and a little sofa here. And this is a sofa trick that you may know, maybe you don't know, uh, but what you should do is actually grab yourself a banner, grab yourself a light source because Otherwise, I will show you what happens if you don't do that. If you place a banner here and you place the dark oak stairs or whatever stairs you use, then you get this, yeah, kind of dark shadow shadow version of the banner. That's some, something you don't want, or at least I don't want. So instead, you should actually grab yourself a jack-o'-lantern or anything that you like to use for lighting up the place. But yeah, uh, my... Personal preference is jack-o'-lanterns because it's quite, yeah, it's obviously the cheapest one in general, I would say. And yeah, there you go. Then you have a cool white pillow. Here we have another door with a little bit of space for some storage and a furnace. You could also place a barrel or another chest or anything you want. And here you see I hit this kind of jack-o'-lantern Thing. it's really hard to see so I think that I did this job quite well here with hiding the jack-o'-lantern but it is lit up because of that jack-o'-lantern and of course I like to use these birch trapdoors in this case so yeah that's why they are here then we have these stairs where you can walk them up and here you see we have those androids as a little feature here for extra light source and otherwise you will probably have monster spawns here it's something i don't want so here you see you have a little bedroom here this is another one that i try to hide with the trapdoors because this texture is okay but not in a modern house honestly so yeah the trapdoors over here and yeah this is a barrel so there is some extra space here you've got a quite yeah a small lamp here with an android and a wither skeleton skull you could also use a normal skeleton skull and here we have a bed for only one person so this is a smaller house than the other two houses that are coming now so for this next 10 by 10 house we have made use of leaves and fence gates as well in the wall to make yeah i don't know but it's Kind of cool in my opinion, the checker pattern in this natural wall, I would say. And here we got a small entrance, the porch. And this this house actually has a bigger garden than any of the others. So yeah, as you can see, we have a small sofa here made of bricks because I like that in this kind of garden. We have a little bit of a barbecue set over here. You can make that in different ways. Um, also, in this case, I made use of a campfire below this block, below the smoker. Here we have a jukebox for music if you want to have some chill time in the garden. And we have a little bit space for farm, but it's by far the most decent farm 
from these three houses because the other two will be way smaller and less effective. So yeah, here you see the water is hidden below these slabs and it's also lit up as you can see with the jack-o'-lanterns but you won't really see them probably and here we go to the house which is a little bit weird we have one planner box because on the other places i could also place them but they will either not connect really well or they will extend and be and yeah make the plot bigger but in fact i really don't want to go over the 10 by 10 limit so yeah that's why i didn't do that i only added this one and there we go we can go inside as you can see it's bright and everything there is light over there but there's also light beneath the carpet that's a really cool trick by the way just place a light source beneath carpet and bingo you will have a light source which is not seen so yeah here we have a barrel for some storage and of course the double chest the crafting table which is quite essential in my opinion two furnaces we can go up by one we have a few windows and of course that planter box and this is a really epic place in my opinion then we have some light from there and here we go another time with the jack-o-lanterns only two in this case but it's going to bright up the whole house or i would say this whole story and there we go two more beds over here and this one is a three tall window the others are two because otherwise i would not really like yeah, how you could see the beds from the outside. So that's something I don't really want to see. And there we go. That is a really cool one. In my opinion, then the last feature of this house is the roof, which is a little bit different, as you can see. It is kind of like a church, but also not. As you can see, we can just grab the quartz slabs and the quartz stairs. And yeah, the jack-o'-lanterns that are over here are the same ones as you could have seen yeah in the second story so if i place this back and place a stair and place a slab you will see that it will actually emit light so yeah i would i would say make it make it night maybe then you could see it better yeah it will emit light as you can see and you cannot see the jack-o-lanterns at all not even if you if you take a little yeah a different angle like this no you're not going to see them the only way you will probably see them is by breaking the actual roof but why would you do that so yeah that's a really cool feature in my opinion so let's move ahead to the third and last house for today this is the third house and also the last one for today another one on a 10 by 10 plot but a lot taller as you can see and there's does a lot more space over here so as you can see this one is surrounded by leaves but also by spruce trapdoors and i would like to use that because it is gonna be cool for this staircase later on but i will show you this one a little bit later so as you can see here we can actually enter the house and we have again a little bit to farm like the first house and the second one we had more then we have this entrance on the first story as you can see a really small room these are all really small rooms but there are a lot of there are several rooms so yeah here we have a little i would say sofa again but it's a little bit different then we have this kitchen here with a smoker and a cauldron with both a campfire beneath we have used the birch trap doors again to hide the campfires and to make it a little bit cooler then we have those iron trap doors to support the furnace and the crafting table which are both essential as well and we have a little window and there a little window and there a little window let's go up by one here we go this is a really cool staircase in my opinion and as you can see we are now on the second story another time with these kind of in entrance and here we go with a really small room as well but we have two beds so two people can actually live here both have a chest a double chest to be to be exact and another time a few windows and here we can go up once more as you can see and you will be able to enter this kind of storage room with four double chest or two double chest four chest in general a 
armor stand that's placed on carpet. I used a piston trick with that for that one. And we have two balconies over here. So here is the first balcony, a really epic one to look on the sunset. And the other ones do have, yeah, the other houses as a few. And yeah, this is kind of a cute house in my opinion as well. Some glass here to some skylight as well when it's daytime. And you could practically also see the moon at some point. So yeah, this is kind of a cool house in my opinion as well. So yeah, this is actually the third house. So yeah, these were the houses for today. Let me know what your favorite one is. And of course, if you want me to do a tutorial on either one of these houses, I could totally do that. Um, so yeah, let me know which one you would like to see. If you want to see, I can also just go ahead to another kind of structure. I really want to build a lot in this series. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. You can also join the Hyperhood Discord server. A link is in the description and I will see you later. And don't be a traitor. Goodbye.